guys, it's Vi. Welcome back to another episode of The Island Challenge. It was created by the amazing Simproved, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the episodes thus far in this journey. So let's see, what is Homie up to? Homie is currently swimming and getting his athletic skill up, and I'm hoping that that is exactly what Vaihisha is up to as well. Yes, she is. So they're pretty much exactly where I left them, folks. I haven't played any offline. It's all been in real time. You guys get to see all of it. Currently it is 9 p.m. almost. It's a couple minutes from 9 p.m. We have to wait until 9 a.m. the following morning in order for me to do a dice roll and find out what the gods have in store. What is our fate for Vaihisha Taknai and for Homie Williams? So they did a little woohoo action and I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that Vaihisha is currently pregnant and holding the third sim that will be on this island, but it's hard to say. I don't know what's going to happen in that department. I don't know if she is pregnant. There is no way for me to check. I just kind of have to wait for the game to tell me that yes, it was successful and she is currently eating for two. So I have absolutely no idea. So right now, like I said, they are sitting here swimming around and building up their skills. So currently, as far as skills go, folks, we really don't have much going on. Uh, Homie has managed to get almost a second skill in fitness. So he has one skill in fitness, one skill in gardening, not a whole lot going on there. Vaihisha was lucky enough uh, last time to get two in gardening skill. The gods smiled happily on her and gave her two skill points of my choice. I chose to give her gardening so she has a two in gardening and she has one in fitness currently. So we have a long way to go folks because the way to win this challenge is you have to have eight sims on this island and all eight sims must have a level four in fitness and in gardening and in let's say fitness, gardening, and fishing. We have to have level four in all of those skills. If you don't have level four in all those skills and you don't have a total of eight sims, you're not getting off this island. You're not going to uh, ascend to greatness or anything. You're just gonna be stuck here for all eternity. So I'm hoping that the gods smile nicely on us and we don't kill our sims because that would be totally unfortunate. It looks like Homie is getting hungry and it's, not, it's only a matter of time before he starts to starve. Let's see, how long do we have? Before he becomes ravenous, we still have 22 hours. So when we hit 9 a.m., I am hoping, I'm crossing my fingers, one of two things happens, or actually one of three things happens. We either get enough sticks collected or given to us in order to create a fire pit or a grill. We are given a free pick whatever you would like to add to your island or any skill building object or uh, we can max all of our skills, and, or not all our skills, but max all of our um, moodlets and make ourselves happy clicking on the mailbox with cheats. So I'm hoping any one of those combinations will be our saving grace and we do not starve to death because our plants are not ready so Homie is going to be awfully hungry. Um, I was able to evolve these and I have no idea when they're going to be spawning fruits but that will also be our saving grace because once those spawn fruits we're going to harvest those and we're going to be able to eat something. Look at this lot guys. Look at how awesome it looks at night at night time i'm gonna put all the way up so you guys can see this wonderful creation this is our um our volcano up here and if we need to give a sacrifice unfortunately guys this is where that sim will have to drown and become our sacrifice so i hope that doesn't happen let's see what are we doing okay we are getting out of here why what are you doing i want you to take a picture together why don't you guys be sweet build up your relationship a little bit more um you're going to... Oh, you know, he should give her a rose. Too bad you can't actually have one. Let's see. We are going to offer a rose. Aw, because we are. Because that's super sweet. They're getting tired, but there is nowhere for them to sleep. They're literally going to just have to pass out. Because I don't think... I don't know. Maybe they can nap on these. They can sit and chat in here. And I don't think there's any more seats. I think it's just the one. I'm going to double check in here. Because I think... Oh my goodness. Come on work with me here. Um, I think it's just the one seat. I think that's the only one because I think this is a table. Yep, it looks like we only have one seat. So um, let's go ahead. Let's go back to swimming. We're going to swim some laps. And Vaihisha, you're also going to swim some laps. Uh, what is this here? You wanted to nap. Okay, so why don't you swim for a minute? 
And actually, I will have her nap. That's actually probably fine. And let's see, how good is he? Maybe he should nap too, because you know what? The time's gonna go a lot faster if they're both napping. So let's have them not skill build. Let's have them take naps. It'll get us to the next day to find out what the gods have in store for Homi and Fi. I cannot wait to see. It's like super exciting for me because it's so unknown. I have no idea what this challenge is going to bring us. I mean, I may be sacrificing Homi or Vi. Like, I have no idea what's gonna happen. So you guys are gonna have to watch and see exactly what goes on on this island. The island challenge, guys. Let's figure out what happens. Okay, so Homie just went down for a nap. <laughs> okay, Vi, what are you doing? I thought I told you to take a nap too. Oh, you're gonna swim first. Okay, why don't you go ahead and go in that bush and take a nap. Let's get you out of there. There we go. I love that there's so many different places for her to get out. This is such a cool lot, folks. I think it's really awesome. Let's see, Homie is down for a nap. He's about halfway done already, so we're probably gonna have to nap more than once. So Homie, why don't you go back and nap again? And I bet Javai is gonna have to take a nap once more because she's gonna be still tired. So go ahead and go back to napping. They're both hungry. They're both getting barely dirty. We don't have any way to get them clean and we don't have any way for them to do anything else. So Homie, let's see, you, why don't you go back to take a nap again? It is four o'clock in the morning. We still have a few more hours before the gods decide our fate of the day. So I'm gonna put her back for a nap, one more nap, and then I'm gonna have you fertilize that plant you've been napping in by. All right, here we go. Homie is here, he is awful hungry, and he is in need of hygiene. But we're gonna have you fertilize, buddy. I, I know, it's pretty gross. You've been sleeping in it. You are uncomfortable. He has this uncomfortable moodlet from last resort, a bush nap. Bushes make bad beds, even if it's a last resort. So I'm so sorry that you're unhappy, homie. I'm really, really sorry about that. His hygiene and hunger. Let's go check on our plants. Have they spawned us fruits or anything? Do they need to be tended? They need to be watered. So I'm gonna have homie come over here and do some watering on our plants because that needs to happen because he needs to get a gardening skill level four. So hopefully he's going to take care of all of those. Where's Vi? She's awake right now. Bye, Hisha. You are hungry and you are dirty. You are nasty girl. Um, I wonder if she's in too bad of a mood to go swimming. Um, I'm going to throw her into the, the river or the lake. It's probably more of a lake. They're on an island. Maybe this is the ocean. I don't know. I don't think they actually get any um, hygiene from this. I wish they did, but I don't think they get gain hygiene for swimming. Oh, and she's upset. She's hungry. Please don't be too mad. Homie's watering. Maybe you should do that. Maybe that would take your mind off of it. Why don't you come over here and water these? Ooh, that's got the harvest all option. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna water them. We're gonna harvest. That means we have food, guys. We have food and I'm so excited. I don't think I've been more excited to see food before. <laughs> like, yay! Are these harvestable too or they just needed water? It doesn't appear to be anything to harvest from them. All right, that's okay. Why don't you come over here, homie, because Vi is gonna have some apples or something to share with you. So why don't you swim over here? Let's see if I can't get him to stand over here. I don't know if I can because there's, there's objects and stuff in the way. So let's see if he can't come over here. Vi, what did we get? Let's find out. This is quite important. What kind of food did we get this time? She has a total so far of three cherries. So this isn't gonna do an awful lot, but what else did we get? Three cherries and three pears. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant at least one cherry and one pear, and I will give one of each of those to Kai. Um, the reason I'm doing so is uh, there is dice roll that will make you delete two of your mature plants. And I need some backups, folks, because if those go away, this is our food source for right now. And if those disappear, we're gonna have a hard time with this. So I'm going to put those down I'm gonna have Vaihisha eat a pear and I'm gonna have her eat a cherry and then she's gonna come over here and she is going to plant these. Oops. And Kai is swimming over there, which I'm not sure why I made him do that because it doesn't matter if he goes over there or not. I can just drag these over, so. Yay, food! Oh, she ate them and she's probably not very much better, but at least she's not gonna die, folks. 
So, homie, I'm gonna give you a pear and I'm gonna give you a cherry. Where are you, bud? Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, eat your cherry and eat your pear. Let's get this a little bit better. Let's see how much it pulls it up. It's probably not going to do it a whole lot, but like I said, at least they're not going to die now. So he's got that. He's got that. See, I say they're not going to die now, but he could totally end up dying <laughs> because we may have to sacrifice, homie. I have no idea. Let's see. Cloud gaze with Vaihisha Taknai. So why don't you swim around, get some of your athletic skill going again, while Vai is doing some planting and doing gardening skill, which is good. Skill building is good, folks. That's the name of the game. This is what we've got to work on. They need a level four in three of those skills in order for us to do anything. So we can't hire a professional gardener. Not like I would want to anyways, because I don't want him to take the skill. I want the skill for my Sims. So let's water those up, Vi. And guys, it is 8.43. We have 15 sim minutes before we figure out what the, the gods have in store for our sims today. This is so exciting for me. This is like the best part of this challenge, hands down. I know you're upset because you're dirty and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, homie. Swim energized laps. All right, guys, it is 8.59, it is 9 a.m., and I have stated that at 9 a.m. every single day, I am going to go through and I'm going to do my dice roll and find out what the gods have in store. So our number that we rolled today is a number seven, and number seven says we get five new twigs. Get five new twigs from debug mode and build mode and place them on the island. I am not going to be placing them on the island. I am actually just going to write down that we have a total of five twigs. And I'm going to look also here at the rules for the crafting system, and I'm going to find out exactly what five twigs is going to give us. So this, uh, let's see, if we used the workbench, which we don't have, uh, we could do these uh, without using twigs. They don't use twigs to do it, we could just randomly do them. So with five twigs, we can get a single bed, we can get a campfire or a grill, we can get a bench, we can get an ottoman, or a chest or a wedding arch. I think right now we are totally gonna go for that campfire grill. So folks, we are back down to zero twigs. I'm writing that down so that I can keep track. And we have successfully built a camping spot. So here we go, we've got this. So the gods smiled nicely on us today because we didn't get screwed over, <laughs> which is really good. So let's see, we're gonna need a fire pit. Uh, let's see, fire, and I'm not exactly sure what it's called. It's not under decorations though, it is under activities and skills. Well, we'll just do it this way because I'm not exactly sure where it's listed. Now it's not the bonfire, oh this one right here. We have the rocks of fire and we have a couple different colors I think. Nope, nope it's just boring, we don't get, we don't get fancy colors. Um, I'm gonna have to move this bundle of sticks. There we go, and we're gonna put it right smack dab in the middle if I can with the, let's see, we need to I wonder if that's going to ruin it. Um, cc dot or bb dot move objects on. Okay, so the objects on cheat is there and we're just going to plunk this down right here because that's pretty much where Simproved had it and I wanted to kind of stick with where the placement was. So. Alrighty folks, gods have smiled nicely upon Homi and Bahisha. Today we are saved for another day. We're going to light our fire here and Bahisha's going to come over here as well because they're both hungry. So we're going to get cracking with some food. We should put make hot dogs or something. I hope you don't start a fire. Okay, um, let's see. He is going to roast. You're going to roast hot dogs and Bahisha is also going to roast hot dogs. And you guys are good to go as far as food. No worries. You guys are fine. I'm so excited that that worked out that way. This is awesome. Alrighty, folks, I'm going to leave Vi and Homie here as they use their campfire for the very first time. The gods have smiled nicely upon this pair on the island. This is the island challenge created by the wonderful, amazing Simproved. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, and I hope to see all of you guys next time. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye.